Hi there, I'm Lenny Slagon with your Fox 2 News Now update. 30,000 fans packing the fairgrounds for Automobile's biggest shows. Morgan Wallen is expected to take the stage at around 9 o'clock tonight, and it's already being described as a traffic nightmare. Many fans arriving early to beat the traffic. Social media posts already warning drivers of the expected delays. Mobile Police releasing a statement about traffic control officers on site. Residents and people driving in that area are asked to be patient. Mobile County Public Public schools also alerted some parents about buses might being delayed arriving at afternoon stops because of the congestion there. Sports betting in Mississippi getting a lot easier, at least at one casino. The Beau Rivage now allowing mobile betting through an app. It's currently at the casino only, and gamblers can only do it on the casino property. It's called Bet MGM. And once you download the app, you'll be able to place a wager on almost everything from anywhere in the casino, even your room. This has been something that uh, the guests have wanted for a long time. Uh, the state of Mississippi has wanted it for a long time, and uh, you know we finally got it here. Right now, you're only able to place a mobile wager while at the Beau Rivage. Casinos are hoping the Mississippi legislature will release the rules in 2022 to make it more convenient. People across the U.S. have been quitting their job in record numbers, too. Today, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reporting more than 4 million people quit in September. That's an all-time high. Most were leaving their jobs. The majority of work was in person and relatively low paying. The Labor Department saying because there are so many positions available, People are looking for better opportunities with higher pay. Millions of families are about to receive their latest monthly child tax credit payment. The Treasury Department says the next round will be distributed Monday. Eligible families can receive up to $3,600 for each child under 6 and up to $3,000 for each child 6 through 17 years old. But this could be the last payment if Congress doesn't act. The child tax credit was created as part of the coronavirus relief package, only in effect for 2021. The budget reconciliation package Democrats are currently negotiating would extend the credit through next year. Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Jennifer Lambers with a look at your forecast and today's daytime highs closer to average 72 in Mobile, 73 at Fr Berkeley Field, 72 in Pensacola and then also 76 up in Evergreen. So it's feeling nice out there. So we saw plenty of sunshine and also dry conditions for our Friday and that's continuing really across the whole southeast. You can start to see those clearing skies and then also just a front up towards our northwest. Now this front is going to be heading our way. The good news though, we're not going to be seeing any of the rain from it, but we're going to start to see some of that dry air move in and also some colder temperatures on the way too. But radar so far this afternoon heading into this evening is looking dry and staying nice. We're seeing sunny skies out there and we're going to see those clear conditions heading into the overnight hours. So starting off your Saturday morning, beginning the day with a lot of sunshine and that's going to take us throughout the entirety of your Saturday. We're staying clear, staying sunny, some nice cobalt blue skies out there before that sunset is just before five o'clock and then clear skies to head into your Saturday evening. Now for our day planner, sunshine across the board all day for tomorrow and also something to note, Tomorrow's daytime high is much cooler. We're going to be seeing the upper 50s and also the lower 60s. So going to be feeling that by the afternoon and then by 6 o'clock we're getting chilly upper 40s. Any Saturday night plans, make sure you do bundle up. Now talking about Saturday night into Sunday morning, we are under a freeze watch for Washington and Clark counties. That's going to be from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. on Sunday. Temperatures could drop down below freezing. Just keep that in mind. Maybe have those faucets dripping and also be thinking of your plants and also your pets that night. Now for our full seven day outlook, sunshine continuing, but starting off Sunday morning, it's going to be chilly, borderline freezing, and then we start to warm up throughout the week. Temperatures start to approach closer towards average before our next shot of rain comes in by the end of next week. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10 News.